It's us here bringing you a new and unique series called Squad Roulette where basically as you can see there's nine players on the screen here basically I'm going through them and basically I will random name generate them using like a fruit machine and whoever's name comes out I have to build a team around so this could be like really random In this series you could see some funny teams because as as you can see I've got some like Australian player who basically, that basically means that I will not, I'll be struggled to find a team around him and you, you'll probably see me lose a couple of matches as well due to the fact that I'm going to have a gold bench with the likes of Rossi 85 and people like that so no matter what my team, if I have a bronze team I have a high rated team which means I get better players and I have to play wherever I match up with first, no ditching, no backing out because I see the rating we could have 99 up front which, is not, which obviously isn't possible but if they have a 91 attack I've got to play them and anyway, uh, as you can see, uh, after I went through all the players, and now I'm going to run them down, generate, you see all the names are there, the Chamberlain, people like Amensis, and the Bronzes are there, and as you see now, Fruit Machine hits, let's see who I get, it's going past Chamberlain, and it's Menzies, dodged, dodged the other player there, and got Menzies, and as you can see now, here's a team I built round Menzies, the man in the moment, oh, I'll do a quick walkthrough for you here, got Hart, Diston, Gallas, Bossing where cliche man at the moment Menzies obviously has to be there. Do I'll be Sissoko with Lennon, Sahar and Bent with a random man manager obviously to try and get 100 chemistry, try and guarantee myself 100 chemistry there. And uh, formations actually a good formation 4 4 1 1. And let's see the bench which I was talking about earlier has to be that bench all through the whole series, even if I have a bronze team that has to be there. And actually, ha I end up going to search for a match, I go on single online matches because. That is what I'm playing. I can't really play a tournament with this team. Well, I could, but obviously that just uh, there's no point in me doing that because I could be already be in the final due to this account, and that could kind of ruin it, really, couldn't it? So that's why I go in single online match. And anyway, in single online match, I can see I can see my rating. I can see their rating, but obviously I'm not going to back it. They might back it on me, but I won't back it on them. So as you see, the match actually starts. I'm playing with five at the back, and straight from the first whistle, we're actually attacking him constantly with this fast attack. And I just end up getting a corner. The corner comes in, and, but, and he actually does really good defending. Fair play to him. But I get another corner from him headering it away. And the ball comes in, and Distant actually scores the header. Makes it 1 0. What a brilliant start. I think it's the fourth minute as well. He falls over the keeper, so he cuts my celebration short. I bet this dude loved the celebration being cut short, so I bet he didn't like that goal. I bet he's frustrated because really, he just come from the first whistle, so it must have annoyed him quite a bit. And then you probably see the worst decision ever on FIFA 12. I was basically a through ball here, a run through. I do a nice little face shot, and then he takes me in. And as you can see from the replay, there was contact, and this actually shocks me because as you can see, he's on the counter, and he goes and actually scores when he gets a, gets a good goal of Hazard. To be fair to him, but that is a disgrace of a decision in my opinion. I'm sorry, EA, but you need to sort out your referee due to the fact that it was clearly a foul. And it even costs me even more because he attacks, he, he, he attacks me again, he gets a ball in, he volleys it, nice block though by my defender to be fair. It's not as if we're going to take away from the block but it's a nice little chip this dude does a chip volley, it goes in and this kind of got to me, it's a heart just out in my opinion and it actually makes it 2-1 to him and this is just really gutting, that decision did cost me in the end. And second half I just had to go at him didn't I, I knew I had to go at him, I couldn't just sit back and just take it. And I actually end up getting, I end up getting a good goal really. Just well, it's not the best of goals, but goal is a goal in my opinion. I just, I just knock it in. Good goal. No, so it's just good play down to Menzies, get it in and bent. Just headers it in. That's what he's good at. Just being there, right place, right time, headers it in. But then this dude actually just punishes me for not capitalising on possession I had, and he actually makes it free two through a head, a header. And basically you should see it because I was three players round him and he somehow still got away and scored. But then I, the man at the moment, Menzies, steps up with a brilliant free kick. Oh, just pure top corner. Couldn't have got a better free kick. Just pure, pure top corner. The, the goalie was in shock at that free kick. And from here on in, I just kind of went downhill for this dude. He knew he couldn't cope with the pace I was playing at. He's kind of, his players are actually kind of knackered as well, losing fitness. And this, I took advantage of this a lot, and I actually end up winning this 4-3. When I just do, I just do some brilliant play and end up finishing it off with Sahar. I think, I think that's a brilliant goal to be fair, and that actually won me the game. Sahar, brilliant player, Tottenham as well. 
So it's just brilliant CF to have in this team. And actually, as I said, um, games come to an end. I'd recommend this team for anybody because the pace is unbelievable. The defense is amazing. And Menzies is just out of this world. The free kick is immense. The five star skill moves. Hey, what can you complain about that? So as you can see, I actually won 4 3 and then brilliant match. Most exciting match of the year. And Menzies, man at moment, gets man at match. Fair play to him. He got a goal and assist. And he actually had like full pass completion. So fair play. Anyway, I hope you like this new series. Please leave a like, leave some feedback on what you think about this unique, this series. So it took me quite a while to think about this, and I hope you like it. And also, please subscribe to keep up to date with this series, and peace out. Here's two videos you might have missed. On the left, we've got Dan's 15k beast doing a premiership team. We've got Bale and people like that, good team to be fair. And then on the right, you've got my 15k beast, which is in League 1, the French League, and some good players there, so people like Sal and some fast players. And a little mini-touch at the end on both of these videos. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment, and peace out.